Hey guys, what's up? Comment below, let me know what Christmas food reminds you the most of Christmas. Or what food <laughs> reminds you the most of Christmas. For me, it's always Christmas cookies, like sugar cookies, or any kind of cookies, ra rather. I love cookies. Today is December 9th, and this is your one minute news. UK regulators said that those with a history of allergic reactions should not take the Pfizer vaccine. More states are joining the Texas lawsuit like South Carolina, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Missouri, Louisiana against Georgia, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and Michigan, which alleges that those four states exploited the COVID-19 pandemic to justify ignoring federal and state election laws and unlawful, unlawfully enacted last-minute changes that skew the results of the 2020 election. How many more states will join? Los Angeles County ban against outdoor dining at restaurants has been overturned by a judge. Garcetti said, you got me this time, but I'll get you again. Last night on Jake Tapper, Dick Dermott admitted what everyone already knew, holding up the coronavirus stimulus bill due to the election. Advocacy groups are wanting to ban Borat from the Oscars and Golden Gloves for promoting racism. Well, 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 how the turntables. Jake Paul was asked on HBO talk show, is it racist to knock out a black man? And they were serious. <laughs> God, this world is nuts. New York Attorney General is now predicting Trump will step down in the end just to be pardoned by Pence for federal crimes. These people are still losing their minds. Today in history, in 1835... The Texan army captures San Antonio in your face, Mexico. You guys suck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hope you guys have a fantastic Wednesday. Enjoy your Wednesday. Uh, find a way to enjoy the middle of the week. I know it's always kind of hard, and you want to just get to that Friday. Enjoy today. Uh, be sure to share this with all your friends and family. You can share it on any social media platform. Give you permission, and also I encourage it. Tell your friends and family about the One Minute News. Say it's a, it's a goof fest, but it's also good and informative. And I hope, goof fest, who says that? Have a fantastic day. See you tomorrow morning for another edition of the One Minute News.